hello everyone welcome back to the channel for a little bonus video because the brand new stuff pack came out today the home chef hustle stuff pack and i am so excited for this i almost died when i saw that adorable little waffle maker and pizza oven the stand mixer oh, i'm obsessed so let's dive in and take a look at the little overview for our stuff pack small appliances big upgrade Outfit your kitchen with small appliances like a stand mixer, waffle maker, or countertop pizza oven to expand your culinary horizons. As Sims upgrade their skills, they'll be able to do more with these new appliances and discover more delicious recipes. Feed the neighborhood. Turn your love of cooking into a side hustle. Sims can open their own small business with the new food stand and sell tasty treats and mouth-watering meals to neighbors. Fresh Chef Styles. Your cooking adventure wouldn't be complete without the right fashion. Kitchen-ready hairstyles, food-themed accessories, and aprons for the whole family will have your sims looking like serious amateur chefs. Ah, I am so, so excited. Let's go in and take a look at this new stuff pack. All right, you guys, let's jump in and take a look at some of the create a sim assets for the home chef hustle pack. So we're going to start up here, of course, with the hairs. So we got a total of five new hairs, but really it's only two new hairs because this is actually all the exact same hair. Um, the only difference is this has the headscarf, obviously, and then this has the headscarf with the uh, ombre attachment there, and then this is just the regular uh, hairstyle, and then this is the hairstyle with the ombre, and then this is the only um, different kind of hairstyle that we got with this pack. I really do like this hairstyle. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this weird bandana thing. I kind of wish they would have left that off because this bun is super, super cute and I really, really like that. Uh, the next little asset that we got is a this little knitted uh, hat or crocheted hat. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest. I, I don't, um, I don't like it. I think it's ugly and I don't think it makes sense um, in this pack at all. Uh, it's, it, it, I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I think that could have, that asset slot could have been used for another hair um, or just really anything else. Um, and then we move on to earrings. So we have these cute little whisk earrings here that she is already wearing. We also have these pizza earrings. When you change up the swatch, it just changes up the color of the pizza. It also changes up the color of the ring itself, but it also changes up the pizza toppings. And then we have these little uh, knife earrings and these are kind of nice. I kind of like these because um, they could just be like, just regular earrings, you know, you can't really tell that they're a knife unless you really look at them. So they could just be like regular earrings. Um, and then just due to her uh, outfit right now, you can't really see her necklace. So let me throw on um, this top really quick so you can guys can kind of see uh, that necklace as well. That's a whisk necklace uh, to go with these little whisk earrings. So cute, cute. Um, no new makeup or anything like that in the, uh, Home Chef, uh, Hustle kit, which does not surprise me at all. Um, no big deal. So then moving on, we have this little sweatshirt. Um, it's okay. I, I'm not like loving it, but it does look pretty comfy. So this t-shirt, um, I'm not a fan. I, I think it fits weird. Um, I don't like the cut. I don't like the designs. I just, I, I'm not a fan. Um, this, however, I really do like. If you're going to be running a bakery, I think this is perfect. Um, so I, I do like that. I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all. I really, really like this. I think this is one of my favorite assets in the entire pack um, as far as create a sim goes. I think this is really cute. Um, and I love these kind of dirtied up uh, swatches here that make it look like you've actually been working in the kitchen. So love that. And then this, I'm not sure what to think of this. I think this is pretty bland, pretty boring, and I don't understand it. Um, just not a fan. Not a fan of that one. 
Uh, we have three full body outfits uh, that come with this pack. So we have this little uh, jumper thing. Again, really not sure how I feel about it. It just feels like it's a lot. Um, so I don't know that Create a Sim is the reason that I would purchase this pack. I think this pack is definitely more about the uh, build buy assets uh, that you get along with it. But it, it is cute. Um, this, I, this is very old lady, but I love it. I think this is really, really cute for like my older Sims, um, like my old grandma Sims. I love that. Love that. So, and then these are the only bottoms, uh, that came with this pack. Um, I don't mind them, uh, but I don't know that it's anything that I would reach for outside of use with, uh, this, uh, top that we got here. Um, I don't know that I would I would have any use for these pants outside of this. Um, so there's that. Um, we did get some accessories. We got some different gloves. So these are more of your uh, hot gloves, your pizza oven gloves kind of thing. And then these are more of your uh, like latex gloves um, while you're prepping dough and things like that. And then the only new shoes we got with this pack are these god-awful, ugly, croc-looking things. These are terrible. These are the worst things I've ever seen. I hate them so much. <laughs> um, but that's just my opinion because <laughs> I also hate crocs. So, And then moving on to the males. We did get two new hairs for the males as well. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I love this hair. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's a little bit different than anything we have. It doesn't look like an exact replica of something we already have in the game. So I really like this. This I hate. I think it looks weird. I, I don't like the texture. I don't like the curl. I don't, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I don't know. It's just me. Uh, no new facial hair with this pack. Again, the only hat we get is that weird beanie. Uh, we have all of the same accessories here for the males. We have all of the same shirts here for the males. Um, we have a couple of different full body outfits for the males. They have that same weird jumpsuit thing, so we'll skip over that. Um, but we have a couple of different new uh, aproned outfits for the guys as well. So not... Not too bad, not too bad. Again, same pants. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and throw a shirt on him just so that <laughs> he's not walking around with no shirt. Um, we got the same gloves for the guys as we did with the girls in these same god awful ugly shoes. Not a whole lot of new assets for children, um, but for the girls, we did get the same hairs that we got for the uh, females. And with the uh, boy children, we also got the the same hairs um, that we got for, for the males. So everything's pretty much the same there. Tops, we did get this cute top. This is the same uh, for males and females. It looks the exact same, fits the same way. It's okay, nothing I am like super excited about, but I do kind of like the plain swatches. Um, this is your full body outfit that you're gonna get for the kids again cute for if they're cooking with mom and dad but not something i'm going to reach for all the time um accessories nothing no shoes um nothing like that and then for toddlers the only thing we got for toddlers was this hair so just it's a conversion for the adult male hair and then the only thing that we got uh, for infants is the hat that god awful ugly hat uh, this is the only thing we get for infants in this pack I don't think we got anything else um, unless I'm missing something somewhere oh we did get one full body outfit for the infants it's okay I don't know not a huge fan but you know it's fine um, no shoes, no accessories, anything like that. So one full body outfit for infants, one hat for infants. Um, and then toddlers, again, I don't think we got anything. So that's your full overview of Create a Sim. Now let's jump into Build Buy and take a look at what we've got over there. 
All right, everyone, it is time to take a look at some of the build and buy assets in this pack. And honestly, some of this stuff is really, really beautiful, you guys. I really, I'm really liking it. So these are the two pre-made rooms that you can purchase with the pack. Um, let's just take a look at some of the new items that they have in here. So we have this little cookbook and now this comes with all different swatches. And then we have this little can of like tomato sauce and cheese and, and, and some spices. This is the new pizza oven, cute, cute. Um, and then we have a new sink with this pack. I really, really like this sink. I think it's really cute. And then here is the new uh, stand mixer. And then this is the food scale that comes with the pack. This is a spice rack. There's the new stove. I'm loving, loving this countertop. This kind of corner section for the countertop is really nice. I really like the, the detail of putting the cutting boards and stuff in there. I love that. This is the new compact dishwasher. So it takes up about three quarters of the counter, which I think is odd but okay <laughs> um and then this is the new refrigerator it also comes with this new little uh like shelf doodad um not exactly sure what you would put on there but that's fine and then in this pre-made room we have some berries and things like that and then we also have the new waffle maker um again the new sink and I love these new islands. I think the islands are gorgeous. Um, and this is just a different swatch of that same new stove. We also have the new knife block in here as well as a new uh, oven range, which is nice. Um, here are some of the assets just laid out kind of all together, um, just different swatches of some things. We also have this new set of plate clutter. Um, and then in addition to that, we also have this kind of hanging rack here. Um, it looks like maybe that's a dish towel, maybe a cutting board, a cheese grater, a spoon, a fork, and some uh, different plates. If we take a look at some of the swatches here, it does change the swatch on the plate as well. So the swatch for everything changes, which is nice. Um, and then over here is the new food stall. So I really am curious to kind of see how this works um, and just kind of where where we could take this thing. I think this swatch is so stinking cute with the little waffles and stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. But uh, we did not get any new um, paint. We also got no new wallpaper, but we did get some new tile uh, in this pack. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I don't mind it uh, necessarily. I, I really like this kind of darker swatch and this first kind of lighter swatch is nice. This I think is too white. Um, this blue is kind of nice. I, I like the black, but I just don't know if it would be too much. Maybe for an accent wall, it wouldn't be bad. Um, and the red's not, I guess it's not too bad. It's, it's not awful or anything. I'm not upset about it, but no new doors. Um, nothing new in landscaping or... Uh, window sills, no new stairs. Um, I have not, this is the only uh, new flooring that we've gotten. So let me place this down and let me show you. So this is the new kind of tile flooring, limestone tile. Um, and let me just pull out a couple of different swatches for this. So that's a very, very minimal uh, difference in shade. So these are all eight of the tile swatches. Um, I really, I like this bottom row. This whole bottom row is nice. I like this one. I think this red is just too much. Um, I think this blue is probably just too much. The black, I could probably make work kind of. Um, I don't know, I guess it would depend on the kitchen. So I'm kind of excited to get in and actually get to play with this stuff um, and see how all of this works. So for, uh, just for gameplay, you know, purposes, um, I'm going to do a little bit of cheating and we're going to see about uh, kind of cooking some things up. 
Okay, so I have cheated just a little bit, uh, and I have given our girl here a level 10 cooking skill, um, just so she'll be actually able to make everything. But I've just started her on um, some batter in the mixer, and it does have a little timer on it, which I love. I think that's super cute. While the mixer is going, um, I wonder if we can... Okay, we're not gonna do anything while the mixer is going because the mixer is done. So now all we have to do is collect the prepped ingredients. So I just had her make some batter and that will immediately go into her inventory and it stays in this little uh, container. So we have some batter here and I'm just gonna place these kind of out here just so we can actually get a look at them. Nothing too crazy, it just looks like uh, some brown stuff in a Tupperware container. So now that she has level 10 cooking skill, let's take a look at what all we can prep. So we can prep uh, batter, dough, prepped veggies, cookie dough, uh, prepped seafood, prepped meat, and prepped meat substitute. So let's do this. Let's prep uh, some dough as well. And while the dough is prepping, we're gonna take this batter and we're just gonna go over to our little waffle maker. And now that we have the batter prepped, we can make all kinds of different things. So we have uh, plain waffles, berry waffles, pumpkin spice waffles, oh my gosh, I love that. Uh, chicken and waffles, banana split waffles, apple bacon waffles, mushroom waffles, cured fish waffles, saffron waffles, heart's desire waffles, and pleasantly unpleasant waffles um it is fall so we are definitely leaning hard into the fall vibes with these pumpkin spice uh waffles so let's definitely have her do that and the mixer is still going in here it looks like it's got about 12 minutes left before our dough is ready but i'm definitely going to be using this pizza oven so we can make pizza marinara cheese pizza pizza margarita pepperoni pizza herb focaccia bread oh my gosh i love focaccia bread oh my gosh okay pineapple pizza gross pineapple doesn't go on pizza that's a crime uh pizza caliente sweet corn pizza garden pizza canadian bacon pizza kebab pizza um uh I, how do you even say that sificany i have no idea how to say that uh, but it looks like it was a it's a Sicilian pizza with a thick crust, usually topped with herbs, onions, tomato sauce, strong cheese, and anchovies. Blech. Gross. <laughs> Everything else sounds great besides the anchovies. Uh, seafood pizza, tikka masala pizza, pizza quattro stagoni. Four Seasons Pizza in Italian is prepared with four sections of different toppings, each representing a season of the year. Okay. And then we have Artful Focaccia Bread and then Curious Pizza. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at our waffles here. How we doing? We got... We got about 15 minutes until the waffles are ready, so that's fine. It looks like our batter is almost done, so let's have her come over here and prep or grab these uh, this prepped dough here. And you'll notice the hook changes kind of based on what you're making, so that's kind of cool. Let's have her go ahead and cook some of this pizza. Let's do... Maybe let's do like... Let's do a pizza caliente. Let's do that. Now, this recipe book, I am obsessed with this. This is fantastic. So this recipe book, you can click on it and it allows you to cook whatever it is that you want. So it'll just open up just like the refrigerator would. Um, now you'll notice that some of the old... Um, some of the old kind of recipes that were previously in the game now take the ingredients um, that we have prepped. So we have milk bread that, uh, you know, previously all you needed was milk and flour. Now you have to make the dough and uh, you have to have milk as well. And because we have already prepped that dough, um, we can make this milk bread and the cooking time is reduced. We can make Yorkshire pudding, um looks like hamburger cake so and we can also make cupcakes so i definitely want to grab uh 
I definitely want to have her start on some cupcakes as well. Now let's take a look at this pizza oven firing in here. Oh my goodness, you guys. That is so cool. I love the animation. It definitely looks very real. It definitely feels like she's actually cooking a pizza in there. So while she's doing that, it looks like our waffles are done. So let's have her go and collect the waffles. It looks like she's overheating a little bit. You'll be fine. <laughs> so let's have her collect the waffles. And let's take a look at these bad boys. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. I would eat that. Like right this very moment, I would eat that. That looks so good, okay. <laughs> So it looks like our pizza is done. Let's have her go and collect the meal. Now I do wish that it really looked like the pizza was done while it was in there, but I will say this pizza really looks good. It looks like it was an oven fired pizza. It looks great. I wish it wasn't as pixelated, um, but it's fine. Let's have her resume these cupcakes. All right, our vanilla cupcakes are finished. These look fantastic. So now that we have everything prepped and ready, let's go ahead and open up our food stall. We're gonna put our pizza in here. We're gonna put our waffles in here and our vanilla cupcakes in here. It looks like you can also sell your prepped ingredients. So you can just sell uh, any prepped dough that you have or prepped batter that you have, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and change business details so you can brand your food stand, which I love. I think that's really cool. So uh, let's see. Emily's last name is Schaefer. So uh, I don't know. Uh, let's do. Emily's Eatery. I think that sounds great. So let's go ahead and. Uh, if we just hit start food sale, will it auto stock? It does auto stock, perfect. So this is really cool because we have a pizza up here. Went ahead and put the pizza up on this little thing and it's just like a garage sale. It's got all of the things out here. It's got a little menu board. We have the little sign up here and then the little tip jar. Oh my goodness, I love this, so cute. It looks like we have uh, our possible first customer. We have Johnny Zest here who has stopped by. And then Don Lothario has also stopped by uh, possibly for for an eat. So we can also mark up our prices. We're at a 0% markup right now, uh, but we can mark all the way up to 300%. It looks like Don bought a slice of pizza. Satisfied customer. Emily's Meals seem to be making everyone's day oh my gosh cute love that so it looks like halen and dean have stopped by as well uh for a quick bite to eat love that love that so they each purchased something look at that this is great i love this i think this is super cute the only thing with this, um, you can place an appliance on here so you can actually cook out here uh, while you're kind of waiting for things to sell. But uh, the only thing is you can't put this in your inventory like um, with the with the like uh, selling tables and stuff like the garage sale tables you can put those in your inventory and just take them with you um, and then set up shop wherever you go. This you cannot do that with which I guess makes sense because it's definitely like wooden. You have to put it together like that kind of thing. Um, so maybe this would be something good to place just like out in the world at a park or something. Um, and maybe that's just the uh, permanent setup for your little food stall. Or maybe it is just right in front of your house. Who knows? Um, but I really do like this. I really like the way that uh, the swatches look. I think the way that everything is set up is super super cute so you guys will have to let me know what you think of this pack and uh, let me know if you guys were kind of feeling the same way about the creative sim as I was I wasn't loving it uh, but I wasn't hating it either it just I kind of expected more out of the creative sim but I also understand that a lot of 
the effort that went into this pack probably went more into the appliances and the gameplay. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of a catch-22. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every other day. And I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, guys. Mm.